What's up YouTube, TMZ1313 here. Today I just got my small solar set up in my apartment. And I just want to show you guys what's going on. I'm getting a little bit more done here, as you can tell. Um, got basically everything inside uh, to get the solar panels going. All I need to do is uh, plug in up here the solar panels and we'll be producing electricity. A um, few changes I had to make, I'll show you. Um, and a few other things. Click on the, all my other videos if you haven't seen any of my small solar setup in my apartment. Start from the beginning and uh, watch all my videos. They're pretty cool. Everyone seems to like them. Anyways, I got um, a battery bank right here, a small one. Four SLA batteries, about 26 amp hours roughly. Um, they're six years old, so they're really worn out. That's why I use them because um, I don't want to put any cycle through my other batteries. I got AGM, 35 amp hour battery, and a 244 amp hour deep cycle batteries. So, in case of um, emergencies, I could just hook up a different battery uh, bank. Um, so here I got my 20 amp uh, charge controller. It is upside down, I know. But that's just because how short my wires were. Um, and a watt meter to um, tell me how many watts and amps are going from the charge controller into the um, battery bank. And this right here is my electrical box. Now I told you guys I was going to have a relay. This relay. Um, to control one of my solar panels. Well... This turns out to be a Arduino relay, and because I can't figure out a circuit to work with um, uh, a switch to bounce, if you don't know what that is, then don't worry about it, but it's my problem that's keeping me from using this relay, basically. Um, since I don't have a computer, I can't use my Arduino to power the uh, relay, but I will be soon. Um, and I'll be controlling autonomously with my Arduino. Um, right now, I just have switches. Um, got two switches and a fuse. Here's a fuse, two switches. Um, top few, or top switches to control both solar panels, like kill switch. If I want to do maintenance on the batteries or something, I just, uh, turn that kill switch off. And the bottom one only controls one. Only reason why I do this is because my battery bank is not big enough to be taking 10 amps from both solar panels into this small battery bank. So I got one where I could hook it up and I could power this fine. But if I need a case of emergency, hook up my 244 amp hour battery bank, I could turn the switch on and power that. And they'll be fine. Um, or if on a cloudy day, I can turn both solar panels on. And I'll get more amps to charge this little battery bank. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Check out all my other small solar setup in my um, apartment. I will be getting my solar panels up very soon. Uh, I am sorry about the delay with all the videos. I know I've been slacking. I hope you guys stick with me. Um, next few days, I should begin my solar panels up. They're sitting and waiting. So, um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.